Welcome to this tutorial. In previous tutorial, we registered the machine learning model. Now in this tutorial, we will create an online endpoint. Let us begin. First, we will understand the endpoints and deployments. And after that, we will create an online endpoint. After training the machine learning model, we need to deploy the same so others can use it for the inferencing. And for this purpose, Azure Machine Learning allows you to create the endpoints and add deployments to them. Let us understand what exactly an endpoint is. An endpoint is an HTTP path that provides an inference for the clients to send the request to train machine learning model and receive the inferencing results from the model. So client sends the input data to an endpoint and they will get the results from the endpoint. An endpoint provides these three things. Authentication using key or token based authentication, SSL termination and a stable scoring URI. So this is about the endpoint. Let us understand the deployment. A deployment is a set of resources required for hosting the model that does actual inferencing. A single endpoint can contain multiple deployments. Note down this. This is an important point. The endpoints and deployments are independent Azure Resource Manager resources that appear in Azure portal. So we have registered our machine learning model. Now we will create an online endpoint. I'll make a note. Create an online endpoint. First we will create an unique name for the endpoint. I'll paste the code. Here we are importing this class UUID and here we are creating unique name for the endpoint and we are storing the same in this variable online endpoint name. Now we will define an online endpoint. To do that we have to import a class from azure.ai.ml dot entities import managed online endpoint now we will define an online endpoint here we will define an object let us call this object as endpoint use the class managed online endpoint First we will specify the name, the variable that we defined, online endpoint name. Then we will specify the description. This is an online endpoint. Then we will specify the auth mode, key. Let us specify the tags, training dataset. credit underscore defaults so we defined an online endpoint here to do that first we imported this class managed online endpoint here we are defining object of this class this is the object name endpoint and object of this class managed online endpoint here we specifying the name of the endpoint description auth mode and tags let us execute this cell. Great. After defining the online endpoint, we will create the same. Let us redefine this object endpoint ml underscore client dot online endpoints dot use the get method. Here first we will specify the name. Here we will specify the name, online endpoint name. Here we are creating an online endpoint. Let us execute this cell. Resource not found error. Here I specified wrong method. Let us correct the same. ML client 
डॉट ऑनलाइन एंड पॉइंट्स डॉट बिगिन क्रिएट और अपडेट हियर वी विल स्पेसिफाई दी ऑब्जेक्ट एंड पॉइंट एंड वी वॉन्ट टू सी दी रिजल्ट नाउ एग्जीक्यूट अगेन एंड पॉइंट डिप्लॉयमेंट इन प्रोग्रेस let us verify the same go to endpoints under the real time endpoints you can see the endpoint is creating credit endpoint description description that be specified this is an online endpoint quota type dedicated and other details you can see the tags as well the tags we specified let us explore this endpoint provision state succeeded we got the notification as well endpoint credit endpoint deployment completed here we will get all the details about this endpoint like service id description provisioning state compute type and so on as well as we can get the logs as of now there are no logs and note down an important point here under the deployment you can see no data so till now we have created an online endpoint we haven't deployed the same and that's why we are not getting the data here so we have successfully created an online endpoint let us retrieve the same ml client dot online endpoints here we are using the get method and specifying the name of the endpoint here we are specifying the variable that we defined earlier online endpoint name this one and we are printing the endpoint name in the provisioning state let us execute endpoint credit endpoint with provisioning state succeed is retrieved let us revise the steps that we performed in this tutorial first we understood about the endpoints and the deployments after that we have created an online endpoint to create an online endpoint first we have to define an online endpoint and after that we have to create the same and at the end we are retrieving the details of the same endpoint